themselves, of course, they do have Kino on the roster, very infamous uh, Blitz and Monty player, not necessarily for the right reasons. I always, I always bring, I always bring this back up because it's genuinely one of the funniest moments in an interview I've seen. Well, we'll see how this ends up going. Turret still oh, a nice little run out, and nice. Spoit completely ready for it. Really nice read by Spoit right there, conscious of his position to walk. Oh, making his way into train very quickly. Gotta be careful. Remember, we saw Hot and Cold a little overexposed on this Montane by himself. Yeah, there's. Uh, nobody to trade him at the okay. moment, and Diffuser now in possession of the defense. Maybe got to hop off that shield next round. Yeah, well, Spoid at least thankfully takes down the Chinese sensation of Reaps, who's been one of the best players in the tournament so far. Cameraman finds his gap as well onto Hoffen. All right. Big reaction from M80. First round in. Expose him with the gun behind the Monty, so he will move Kino on in. But again, Kino has Diffuser, so if he drops oh, nice. again, it could be problematic. But there's the follow up from Noodle. That's what we need to see, but Bleeder fighting back. Indeed, they are. Reeks here at Whiskey looks to try and fall back. He wants to take a little bit more with him, but he doesn't get it. However, good trades. Again, Asfi supporting from Reception, who decides now to fall back. Good timing for it as well. This cameraman's looking to get aggressive. The Monty is still up, but low HP. How will M80 look to shape up for this? Uh, eventual execute, they're looking for picks now. That's a very dangerous game to play, Kino. He loses his life, but Spoit springs back up into action. Mentalist in a 1v2. Good flash. The Warden will keep it at bay. He's going to be swung from two different angles at once. He needs to play this to perfection. He knows exactly where they are. Spoit on the close angle. And the Swede gets him. His reputation precedes him. That third fragger at the beginning of the stage to step up. Well, uh, Spoit almost stepping down, unfortunately. Will revive himself with the Adrenal Surge. There's but Noodle. there's Noodle getting Reaps, the very player you highlighted. Oh, and indeed, it looks to be a, a bit of a rush Sides here. Clear. Citizen is forcing this plant down here in mining. And I don't think Bleed are aware of it at all. Tursa tries to make a bit of a play, but he is shut down. This gas seemingly fruitless. Hoven finds a consolation frag, but I, I think that's all he's going to get. Asfi above, looking at Julius player on the windows. But there's very little chance of making this one work for Bleed. M80 have such solid post-plant positions. They've got the site on lock, and Spoit locks in the final kill. Firing up or M80, they're up three. Clip actually. Ooh, but Kino's rotating over, so it's not exactly what I call it. Yeah, well, here we go. The Vulcan canister detonates. Kino, oh, he's dead. Well, Completely obliterated, straight into the fire, and he falls. However, a good trade from cameraman. Still presence in bakery, though, for Bleed. They haven't given it up yet. Mentalist holding on to this position with the Echo. Can be careful, though. He is contesting Spoit on the other side. We know how much that player is on fire. A lot of damage, though. Darn Noodle comes around the corner. Oh, he's ready oh, for big it. Big from Mentalist. Eventually goes down. Spoit gets that trade and must now come inside to support the team. But guess what? Look at that clock. 20 seconds left to play. M80 have left it far too late. Second guessing themselves. They will need to go nuclear now on the site. Collapsing with a few big frags. Spoit finishes off Mentalist, but. Hoven is there to get a good refrag onto cameraman and Tursa closes the final two. The third. And with that Solus, I mean, can very well inform his decision making to get to that 55 60 point smoke boat goes on in. Caught by a magnet. Ooh, caught firebolt in hand, but Noodle cutting down Asfi and Reap's almost ahead of the play. Looks to try and escape. Oh, good cutoff though from Spoit. So quick on the reaction times for that one as well. That's the player they were looking for. A two-player advantage now for M80 as Turster has rotated back upstairs and is looking to try and put oh. some pressure on for this flank. But Noodle has somehow snuck into sight. Uh, it's not all fine and dandy though for M80. While they have got good control, they have lost a lot of players. Now Turster is not really He's in a position. No he, he could deny this from above, but he has no idea the plant's going down. Now he brings out that scanner, but he's not looking in the right direction. He doesn't know where the plant has been confirmed. Hoven and Mentalist together look for this retake. It's very winnable for them in a 3v3. They have to play together. They have to make their move together because there are two players on the attack hiding around this corner. First one for Hoven. Oh, he sees both of them. A hell of a lot of damage down, but not the kill. Mentalist looks for something as well. Turst has got to come and support. Mentalist finds the first. There's Turster as well. Swinging to the final moment. Jumping onto the diffuser. Just enough time for Bleed to get their second round. Very, very close retake right there. Very close. Aren't going for the same quick play on the mining that they did before, so they're going to run into probably a bit more of this what? Bleed setup. Spoit caught lacking on the balcony. 
I mean, we already saw a kill come out from this position, right? So you'd be very surprised if he's not able to, to be spotted. Cameron does find Asfi, and Citizen's already snuck on past. Yeah, they have no idea. They check for it. It turns out apparently Kino did know, but I was a bit worried there for a brief moment because it seemed like Cameraman was unawares. Thankfully, M80 have turned that 4 versus 5 now into a 4 versus 3. I think Reap's overstaying his welcome a little bit there. You got your frag. You can roam back. There are already, you know, three players in the top floor. You can pull back the white hallway and boost the overall setup, but he stays. M80 were, in fact, ready for it, and that's a pretty easy kill. The Monty rushes around the corner, turns to... Ooh! Bit of a cheeky angle. vertical angle right there. Almost saw the feet of the Monty, but Kino will dodge it for the time being. And many still lacking a direct way into the site, I will say. They're clearly gunning for, well, I would imagine, in execute into mining itself. They could run down white stairs as well. They certainly could they've backstab. Yeah, they've spotted one. This is a 4v2 right here. That's yeah, easy. Wow. Yeah, Tursa caught out of position. The Soulless getting droned and yellow pinged is always a red flag. A lot of fire happening on the A stream from what I understand, but this game on B is also just as impactful. It looks like M80 might be able to, to confirm a 4-2 split in their favor. Exactly what the doctor ordered. The intel now is very great. Mentalist walks in, but there's a prox alarm right there, so he's got to back out immediately. There is nobody in Kocek. He will confirm that with those Grim Bs. So we need to see progress on this bottom floor. Noodle trades with Reaps. Really nice stuff, but spoiled in the smoke to catch the Monty on the backstab. He wants to go through that smoke, but... Asfi is very aware of it. This could be a window open for Bleed, as they have made, despite a bit of a slow start, quite good progress here. Play it now in Coffee. I believe two potentially. I believe that is still Spoit here and Kino. Both of them very much like claustrophobic locked in this position. Spoit tries to rotate a little bit. He wants to play around Whiskey, but he loses good his shot. head to Turnster. A beautiful shot indeed. They now can push their way into the backside. Kino's the only player actively holding this. He can get support from Citizen and Cameraman. And I'm not sure what the Vulcan pack situation is over here. There's still one. He's got to blow He can it. detonate this right no! now. Oh, but he blocks it. He still gets it, and now the Monty's trapped. The Monty has to go for the kill here. Kino has managed to fall back, and that does lose the position. He loses his life as well. M80 are on the ropes. Bleed looking very solid in their opening attack. But if there's anything to play for, it could be Citizen here. The hatch has not been opened. It doesn't give him a lot of options. Kino is still on the floor. One impact grenade is all that Citizen has. Bleed in a four versus two post plant. They're looking very solid now. Citizen's got no idea where to go, what to do. The Southeast Asian roster have locked in the site. They themselves have become the defenders. This Monty is going to harass Cameron until the end of the line. There's just about no chance that M80 can make this work. Moving on forward. Not even going to be allowed a fight. Citizen does find his first one, but on a look at the clock, 13 seconds, 11, 10. It's going to take seven to get that counter defuse, and he will not be afforded the opportunity. That is Bleed. I think Bleed could find a very good way back in if they're able to channel that Monty just oh, as successful. But also, if they can get their individual fraggers popping off, which M80 did successfully. Remember, Spoit 5-0 at one point in the attacking side. Reaps a cheeky lurk here, and he's likely to find someone just around the corner from him. Indeed, yeah, his, uh, <laughs> the ACOG housing did not help him out there at all, and Citizen does give him that 1v1. Bit of an unfortunate turn. Player in bathroom has got to fall. He's so close to being able to do that as well. The flashbang oh. goes in, but the shotgun for Kino with the warden, no less. He finds the double, looking for a third now. Mentalist taking low HP. I think Kino's won this round outright for M80. Hovering with it all to do, and he's got just about no chance. Um, that's a very large magazine from Noodle. They got the extended mag buff. Damn. Dude chose his perks wisely. So, no, I mean, specifically me. It's my bad. We see Reaps inside a small bake right now, doing the glass play inside of the smoke, using the Monty to clear Ooh, it out. Get one. I was about to say, they haven't got a kill yet. All right, but now they've cut down Kino. So there is a way in for Asfi, but this prep player and this yokai is going to be a big problem. Ooh, I like Ooh, and that. Ooh, the too. Look at that. Usage of the Grishmot from Noodle to try and concuss the Monty. He's using right. it to try and That's reveal really the Monty's good. shield. It's genius, but it hasn't netted a kill as of yet. And dangerous to go for something so creative instead of something like a smoke that more convincingly keeps that Montane at bay. Noodle is now completely out of his three Grishmots, and he's in a bit of a rough slog. There's a long angle from outside of Bakery, and so overcomes the Yokai from Cameraman to try and support, but Reaps will take down Noodle, and that pretty much puts M80 in the dirt this round.
pretty much puts M80 in the dirt. They need Citizen and Sploit to get these kills, but what oh, do you no, know, Hovitz going for the clear. Yeah, it, he's made it work as well. It was a little bit sketchy there for a moment. The Sploit is on for a big flank, though, and he might even find that he does get the better of Hover, but not without a little bit of damage being done. It's now Sploit versus the world, and while he does tease out a little bit of vertical pressure, he does indeed go for a rotate. Mentalist can go deep, look to force the plant, but... What? Wait, hold on. What? He... What? What? Recovered the diffuser. Oh! <laughs> he... Okay, well, I'll explain that in a second, but for now, well, there you go. Round is over. Wow. That was a good catch from our observer who just told me... Oh, control. Pressure the players off-site. We actually have a similar setup overall that we saw in Oh, what's this? Mentalist. Mentalist. I was about to say, repelling in. Nice pre-fire onto Noodle. Very effective there, but Sploit doesn't allow this to go down without a fight. Good vertical play from Citizen with the C4. Sploit finds a second and falls back towards site. No doubt about who's won that run. Able to win those fights and then pull back down. Bleed of the control. They were actively taking control of Cocktail as a whole. Nice. Reap's able to find one of the vertical angles. So very, very nice. And as you can see, reading a bit clear right now. Nobody actually playing inside of it. And that is where the bomb site is. We see one in what we see one white, we see one Jan in there, and okay. Now, no, Sploit actually down below. So M80 positioned not only for the retake of the bomb site, but specifically the retake of the bottom floor. Once Bleed commit to the execute, Attackers we'll see them use this man advantage and send Kino up top to retake this vertical control. No gone six, I suppose, for Reaps there. Very difficult now to try and clear out that position up top. There's always information here for M80. Kino is getting pretty aggressive here on the white stairs as well. He's so close to Reaps, and he does get the better of him as well. Bleed now down to just one. M80, after that break, looking pretty composed. Good nade from Turd, but the swing from Cameraman locks in match point for M80. Ticking away from Bleed, they're not overcommitting to anything as of yet. Sports looking very ready, but he's feeling a hell of a lot of pressure. He's got a Monty up in his face, Hoven takes him on down. And maybe Bleed indeed oh. can come back, but here's another flank. It's Kino coming up from behind. Citizen found his as well. The repel inside just meets Kino. Oh. Not enough bullets to continue the spray, but Cameraman, the other Brazilian, should be able to support. Kino has gone massive this round. Three kills for him. He might be able to send M80 through. He's done just enough. M80 take the first map at Cafe. Thanks to some heroics from yesterday. Now it's been slipped on through. Kaid going out. What's the final roundabout for? It's a Fenrir. Okay, so Mira is still in. Azami's still in. Solus, yeah, Solus, Solus is still in. Still in. Yeah, a lot of you shoot at Reaps when he's dropping down E box hatch. You also want to use it to stop the bunker position. With that gone, you're really just using the death mark trackers and the one Dokubi call you've just now used to try to make it, and there's still Goyo packs in your way. Oh, nice shot though from Turtz. That long one, but Noodles big for it. Him and Kino spring up, and it's quite an easy lockout. Really know exactly what Bleed want to go for execute-wise at the moment. It seems they're just trying to hit Lurks. Oh, well, if Reaps does find a kill or two on this Lurk, it would be big. But meanwhile, Citizen's found his, and uh, M80 just so completely aware of these Lurks, and Citizen's now going for a bit of a roam. After finding one kill, Reaps doesn't have the greed on him, and, uh, well, at least I guess Bleed have found something, but a kill onto Cameraman, clearing that player in games is not going to be near enough. Hover needs to go very big here from his position. Uh, there is thankfully already the, the wall opened on game, so it does open up an opportunity for bleed, but time's sticking away. They gotta go big. Diffuser is far from home. Another smoke to go down. Mentalist falls, and that does mean the diffuser's on the ground. A very significant numbers advantage now for M80 as bleed. Look to pick up the pieces. Tursa finds one. Sprinting on through the smoke is Citizen. Open outside the white window is trying to cut off the retreat. It's Hoven. He can deal a lot of damage with this ARX. A good flash, but look at that from Classroom. Citizen gets active. Finally, Bleed find their first pick. Good, good for Mentalist. Very good initiative and much needed as well. Terse is able to heal him up a, a, on that bottom white window earlier. They have immediate control of the site though. But Citizen singular C4. Oh, but he's taken down. This could be the round. That's exactly what they needed. Info on Kino now, low HP, as Mentalist looks to force him on back. And a good pre-fire from Reaps. The smack in the table, now he's smacked down Cameraman. Kino in a 1v3, and it looks nigh impossible. Terse has got him on lock. The conversion of the tactical timeout. Even if it's a 1v1, if you're able to win here, that feels fantastic. Oh! And Mentalist, the Hibana, has been caught by...
Ruthless, but it, it punishes the amount of flashbangs available and I guess the leadership of a bit as well. Asphys are gonna get desperate, he drops down, oh. he finds his man, can't find a second one and his teammate falls as well. A desperate attempt from Bleed, but it does not find any merit whatsoever. Two versus four. They have lost all momentum in this round. What do you even do here? You got the Doki calling the death mark trackers, I suppose, but what uh, what 1v1 are you going to isolate on basement? Yeah, well, Kino's got not him. that one. <laughs> Kino's been very good today. He does get traded on back. All up to Reaps. I can only imagine. Still C4 from up above. Bleed don't have an answer for this. Hoven at this point, they they either need to rotate kitchen literally right now, and okay, that is what they're doing. Hoven really? trying to push in. That is a dangerous game to play, especially when you don't take your corners. Good trade though. Oh, oh, big pre-fire from Reaps. He's been mad this game. But he's not gonna have a big impact in the server. Noodle looking vertically for something to try and deny the plan, but he doesn't have the angle he's looking for. Diffuser is down for bleed. But M80 have the numbers. Reaps has been traded back again. Oh. All up to Asfi. He's been rough around the edges this game. And now he must stand tall against two of UK's brightest. Noodle and Citizen on for the retake. Asfi's got the info, can't land enough shots. And he gets taken down by Citizen. M80 are firing on all cylinders today. The need to find a second attack before we switch halves. Good Grim. As the Kawan goes in, but Kino goes for a big string and takes down the star player from Bleed. Ooh. A good shot though from Asfi. He does lose his life for it. And not likely to get picked up anytime soon. Noodle getting aggressive. Time is ticking away. Bleed getting desperate. Still numbers advantage in M80's side. Mentalist low HP from his position on white stairs. He needs to have a huge impact as he gets some support. Noodle doesn't find anything with that C4, but he is still holding fast here inside of Kid's dorms. Mentalist has got to erupt here from the top of white, but Hoven's gone for a massive rotation. He's going to get caught by the Banshee. Citizen is fully aware of it, and he will keep him at bay. There is nothing to be said. There's nothing to be done for Bleed. They have once again fallen flat. Waves ineffectually crashing against the wall that is M80. A bit difficult. It's very spread out right now, but I think they're coalescing around the backside. Monty coming down, the Kawarm going out. Yep, here comes the Execute. The Citizen's been so good this series. Kino starts to go forward. Gas keeps him at bay for a brief moment. Look at this from Sploit. Down the ground, but he's been taken find. out. That's exactly what Mentalist needed, but he then cops a bullet from Noodle. The Brits are both springing into action, and he gets another one. Noodle snuck behind enemy lines. He's deep into the site. And now forcing the diffuser down. Kino is being an absolute menace. Takes a hell of a lot of damage, but it's not enough because once again, the Brits between the two of them find all five kills. M80. By Kino, by anybody that's moving down to the bottom floor on the side of M80 to win those fights. They were able to do so last time, but when the Monty was disrupting them and when it was in their face. Oh, here's the drop though from Noodle. And Spoit does find the opening kill. Straight on into it. Reaps though. The one man shove. Ooh, dodge. Gets the, the better C4. of Spoit. That's a big dodge, but Bleed are not gonna go down without a fight. Numbers back on their side once again as Turd has found his. Cameraman is still up though. These three players from M80 look to go forward. Noodle finds a pick and a big one at that. He's got the Grim and Long Haul tool. They might have man advantage, but they've got this intel to get the diffuser down. And so Noodle will do that. Information, no doubt. Bleed have to make their move, but they do so together. Noodle takes a bit of damage as he falls back, but he deals it again. Reaps continues to shove, but it's up the cameraman to take down the demon from China. The UK will have two homeboys to appease the crowd for the first